Okay, here we are back again with Jade Empire. And I... Oh my gosh. I need to figure out which way to go. Um, right, that's the gate thing. So, uh, right, okay, so we have to go this way to get to Tien's Landing itself, the town. Yeah, okay. Okay. Hey. I decided there wasn't much point in staying with the flyer. It's not going to get much worse in my opinion. Okay, where did you come from though? I salvaged this gem out of some sort of power source. I imagine you will have some use for it. Well, thanks. Now that we're here, we should see if anyone knows anything about flyers. Maybe yeah. Whoever is in charge of the town can help us get underway again. Okay. I still don't know how I you will stay here at this new camp unless you need me. Mm -hmm. It seems like a good enough place to base ourselves out of. Okay. Thanks, Sue. I still don't know how you got here. Uh, good fortune. Okay. What's that? Good fortune. Intuition plus five, mind plus one, and spirit plus one. Ew. Okay. I want this. Okay. Charm, intuition. Let's get rid of this. And then let's do um this. Yeah. Good fortune. Okay. I like that. Okay, let's do that. Where are we? To damn sight. Well, I don't wanna go to I don't I don't know what I need to do there yet. This is like my party camp. I can't believe he rivers is gone. It was home. Oh, yeah. The people there were the only family I've known. And now, they're all gone. I'm sorry, Dawnstar. I understand, Dawnstar. But the path you are on may lead to even darker places. You must prepare yourself. Zoo, can you just give her a moment? I don't want to think like that. We will set things right. We have to. Just be nice, Zoo. She's right. More killing won't bring our friends back. Returning your friends was never an option, but there are a great many more things that you can lose. Thanks for the heartening words. I... Gosh, Zoo, you're, you're really bad at this, you know? You're really bad at this. What's this? A chest? Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Where else can I go? Is there anything else here, or do I have to go out that way? Or is that the way, or can I go this way? Oh, hey. What's this? Who are you? Stranger, forgive me for being so forward, but if you are wise, you will turn around and leave this cursed and miserable town. Oh, really? Mother and I are getting out of this town. If you have any sense, you'll do the same. Okay. Hush, daughter. You must treat strangers with respect. Once we are outside of town, we must be very careful with everyone we meet. Um, who are you? I am Yifong, a simple villager. I've lived all my life here in Tian's Landing, but now I must take my daughter and venture out to the wilderness. It's sure to be more exciting than this dead place. Ah, uh, teenagers. Though impulsive, my daughter Fuyao speaks truly. The great dam downriver has opened. The river is too low and treacherous for anyone to navigate. We are cut off from the empire. This 
The people are starving and pirates terrorize the town. Our leader, Minister Shane, seems powerless to do anything, so we choose to try our luck in the wilderness. Don't leave. Perhaps I can save the town. A noble sentiment, but one I respectfully fear will do little to help us. You don't know the whole story. Minister Sheng would probably pay someone to close the dam, but nobody is brave enough to make the journey. There are dark things up there. Well, I'm brave enough. Let me do it. Some claim it is ghosts trying to torment us. Some think it is pirates. I don't know. All I know is that there seems to be no way to get the Great Dam closed again. Um, well, the wilderness is very dangerous. I thank you for your concern. Most people only look out for themselves in days such as these. Yeah, probably. I have heard of the dangers, wild animals and worse men, pirates and slavers who swoop down in their flyers on unwary travelers. Yeah, that's about accurate. Those pirates must be Gao the Greater's men. We know that he has holdings near here, and he has flyers. Mm -hmm. I have never heard of Gao the Greater, but pirates have terrorized this region for many weeks. Anyone wandering the wilderness knows they risk being caught by those slavers. Some believe there are even worse things in the wilderness, ghosts that torment the living. Still, it's better than sitting in Tian's Landing, waiting to die. Okay. Um, well, that seems like a silly question. Like, he's probably dead or just gone. Like, who cares? It's not my business. Um, but I probably will ask it anyway because I like to take all of the investigate options. Um, okay, well, if the dam is open, why is the river so low? That doesn't make any sense. The dam is downriver from us. When it was closed, the water backed up and drained very slowly, causing the level of the river to rise. Okay, I thought it was upriver. Now that it's open, the water is flowing too fast and low where it flows at all. Most ships cannot weather it. The town is cut off. That is why we're leaving. Okay, um, why did it open? I don't know. Minister Sheng doesn't know. Nobody knows. But the town is dying, and I would rather try my luck out in the wilderness than stay here. Um, okay, can you tell me more about the pirates? I haven't seen any myself, but they are there. I have friends who have seen them, and others have disappeared. It is more than mere rumors. That's why I've chosen to take Fu Yao into the wilderness. At least there we'll have a fighting chance. Where's her father? Life in a small town on the edge of the empire can be hard, and many people die untimely deaths. What more needs be said on the subject? Yeah. The survivors must carry on as best they can. Now Fuyao and I should be on our way. If we must brave the wilderness, I would rather do it with the sun still in the sky. Okay, well, I'll let you be on your way. Farewell, honored traveler. If you must enter Tian's Landing, speak with Minister Sheng in the town square. But a better plan would be to get away while you can. Okay. Thanks, ladies. Good luck. Is she wearing camo pants? I feel like those look, those are like camo. Okay. Anyway. Uh-oh. Now what? Out of our way, woman. In this town, we don't step aside for you. You step aside for us. The peasants of this village may cower before you, but I do not. If you are smart, you will apologize for your behavior and walk away. Don't tell me what to do. You think I won't hit a woman? 
You have to learn your place. This whole town has to learn its place. I think it's about time for a beat down here. What are you looking at? This doesn't concern you. Oh, this do this totally concerns me. Leave her alone or you'll answer to me. <laughs> time to teach you all a lesson. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Stop! <laughs> Do gotcha, gotcha. Oh, it's okay, Zu. Late to help. Sorry. <laughs> What are you doing here? Oh? It's been a long time, Zoo. I haven't seen you since that night. I did as you asked. The child is safe. I made sure of that. Oh. Whoa. After we spoke, I followed you. I I wanted to be sure she was given a good home. You did well, Hui. You two know each other? Hui and I knew each other long ago. She was a soldier and I I needed her help. There was a child, an orphan. I knew we could find a good home for her. Whoa. Who was this child? She was just a girl. Her parents were dead. I couldn't look after her, and I knew Hui by reputation. I knew she would find a good home for her. I mean, I, I don't want to jump to the conclusion that it was me. Where's the child now? She's safe. That's all you need to know. She doesn't concern you. Besides, we don't have time to worry about something that happened almost 20 years ago. Well. Yes, those are old worries. Thank you for your actions today. Even if these men were no real threat, just simple sailors frustrated at the shallow river that holds them here. There are pirates in the area, and they pose a far greater danger. You will likely encounter them, especially if you are the one I am waiting for. You're waiting for me? As Sagacious Zoo mentioned, my name is Hui. Tell me, young woman, what is your master's name? That would be Master Lee of Two Rivers. I have waited here many years for the arrival of one special fighter. Your master, Sun Li, bid me to wait until you, his protege, came seeking information. That's a long time to wait. So it's true. Master Li really is the Emperor's brother. I wish... I wish I had known. Well, I did tell you, but you didn't believe me. Taken by the Lotus assassins just as he thought. Mm -hmm. He knew they were always searching. They are right to fear him and his legacy. Yeah. Yeah. The glorious strategist was certain the path to the Imperial City would bring you here. He was also very specific about how I present my information to you. You must be ready. How specific? Um... Master Lee told me who he was because I'm his student. How do you know? I served under Sun Lee and was one of a few soldiers he trusted enough to contact after Dirge fell. Lee knew the events there would have great consequences. What is he, some kind of prophet? Of the weeks long siege and how spirit monks were slaughtered so his brother could take their temple. It was madness. The Emperor killed the water dragon itself. The water dragon? Oh. of the dead, a goddess of rebirth. Oh. To try and steal her power, to even think it could be attempted. Has any mortal ever shown such arrogance? Um. Such a crime against order would not go unnoticed. There are many beings that exist beyond our experience. The heavens are governed by a celestial bureaucracy. Well, that sounds complicated. Is managed by a specialized attendant. That sounds really complicated. Most appear to have little influence, but some, like the water dragon, have a portfolio that grants exceptional status. A portfolio, she was huh? Said to have governance over the great wheel. Is that the lady I keep talking to in visions? She was not a maker, but all life that ended 
past her gaze before returning to the earth in another form. Sun Hai sought rebirth for his empire at the cost of the natural order. Hmm. Her body was taken to the palace as a grim trophy of the power that ended the long drought. All the while, the people hailed the emperor as a hero, ignorant of the price. Wow. Okay. Um. Oh, Jesus. So the emperor destroyed my people to take the water dragon's power? Even a god is not invincible. They have their place and they can be challenged. Sun Li could not stop the slaughter of the spirit monks. He fled the battle with you in his arms. Most believe Sun Li fell at Dirge, a lie spread by the Emperor. A handful of us knew that he lived, and we also learned the terrible price of his rebellion. Li's wife was with child, his daughter born in the Imperial Palace while he was at Dirge. He never saw her. Within weeks of the siege, the Emperor had Li's family executed. Harsh. Executed. Murdered. The Lotus Assassins were to cut them down. A mother and newborn child. I have no doubt that order came from Death's hand himself. Ouch. Well, no wonder he hates the Emperor. He probably didn't think his family would be harmed, but even had he known, he might still have saved you. Lee knows you have a destiny to fulfill. You're the last of your kind. The natural order has been disrupted. There is much to say, but first, I was instructed to impart some very specific knowledge. Your master was very clear. You can trust Wu, so I don't think there's any reason for me to stick around. I'll be back at the camp if you need me. Yeah, thanks, Zoo. You just, like, keep popping up to talk to me and then leaving again. Man. Not a good man, perhaps, but an honorable one. I still want to climb him like a tree. A brief description will reinforce in your mind the style you saw me use. Okay. I'm always ready to learn. Certain lessons had to be withheld until you were ready for the attention they will bring. Sun Li taught me so that I would teach you. I must train you in spirit proof. That sounds cool. Sure. Magic and weapons tire you. Draw on them too much and you could be left defenseless. Spirit Thief restores your chi, prolonging your ability to fight or ignore wounds. Cool, cool. It is especially useful when enemies are immune to basic martial attacks, when you must use magical weapons. It can even immobilize a foe, allowing time to recover even more. This short lesson should be enough for now. Come speak with me in the tea house. We will talk of your master and more. Well, thank you, Hui. That's pretty awesome. All right. Seamstress Lan, she's crying. What's the matter, Seamstress Lan? Please, please excuse me. I, I know I shouldn't be crying in public like this, but I just, I just can't help it. What happened? Did your boyfriend die? What's wrong? Please, I'm just a humble woman. My name is Seamstress Lawn, and I have a problem I don't know how to solve. I thought, I thought you could help, but I was afraid to speak to you. <laughs> it's my fiance, Bill Cabay. Ah, oh, yeah, it's a boyfriend. Every day a of thugs attacks him and beats him up. He tries to avoid them, but they find him wherever he goes. Every day? The beatings are getting worse. I'm... I'm terrified they're going to kill him. Jeez. After I saw you take on those sailors, I thought, well. Uh, well, there's got to be more to this story. Why are they beating him up every but there day? There isn't. My poor Bay has done nothing to these men. Bay. <laughs> for no reason at all. Please, you have to help him. I beg you. All right, I know, I will, but I, I, that's fine. Okay. I knew you'd understand being a woman. Oh, uh, I don't. Lady. Really think it has anything to do with being a girl. He shall have your name. Oh, that's okay. You don't have to do that. <laughs> Bay is down at Beggar's Pier right now in the southeast corner of town. If you hurry, you can probably get there before the thugs attack him today. Okay. Thanks. I will. I. You know, whatever. What works. 
I better not actually be on a timer because. Wait, Dawnstar, do you need do you need me to talk to you? What what do you need? Anything you need. I'll do whatever I can to help. Oh, are you a merchant now? Um, I'm interested in how you are, Dawnstar. Is there anything bothering you? I mean, that's such a disingenuous question. Of course there's something bothering her. Her entire home just got burned down. No, I didn't have anything pressing on my mind. Although your company is always welcome. Aw, thanks. It seems so far from anything familiar. It's true, it's true. Strange enemies, troubling plots. I will be glad when we can leave this place if my master leaves. Yeah, yeah, be totally. Well, my friend. Aw, thanks. Smooches. Okay, uh... Tea house. What's this? this tea house must be popular. It seems like quite a prominent structure. Uh, yeah. It's his book stand. The shadow in the trees. Travelers in the great southern forest often report strange sightings and bizarre phenomena. Aside from the hospitality of the Pilgrim's Rest Inn, the forest is nearly wilderness, nearly entirely wilderness, and the verdant canopy of the forest hides wonderful and fearsome creatures unlike any seen anywhere else in the Empire. The strangest tales are those of a shadow among the trees that seems to follow visitors to the forest. Philosophers hoping to reflect in the peace of the forest often report feeling watched, and patrons of the Pilgrim's Rest Inn claim to have seen a strange silhouette darting among the trees. Despite the apparently otherworldly nature of this figure, those who witness it sense no aggression and attribute it to the mysteries of the forest. Interesting. Well, I don't want to go in the tea house just yet. Goofu the sweet. You're a stranger here, aren't you? I know everyone in Tan's Landing, and I've never seen you before. I would remember you. Uh, thanks. I guess. You should turn right around and leave this town. Trust me. Uh, you're not the first person to say that to me. Who are you? I am Goofu, Great One. Some call me Goofu the Sweet, though I don't know why. I usually smell like the fish I sell. Perhaps they are making fun of me. It's ironic. But now, there are no fish to sell. I have lived in Tian's Landing all my life, but now I'm ashamed to say I wish I lived somewhere else. Aw, that sucks. Why do you wish that? Everything in Tian's Landing is falling apart. Shang, the local minister, is helpless to deal with all our troubles. You should get out while you can. Okay, well... Uh, you don't tell me know? about the troubles. The Great Dam has been opened, and now the river's level has dropped. It's yeah. too low and fast to navigate. Mm -hmm. Without the river, we are nothing. Yeah, okay, that's your the main source of income. Goods from the Imperial City. The traders can't sell to the outside world. The men cannot fish, and our children go hungry. I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. And if that wasn't bad enough, we have the pirates to worry about, too. They've been raiding the countryside, taking prisoners to sell into slavery. Wow. Okay, let's Take care of yourself, stranger. I know all of that. that you do not live in Tian's landing. You know what? Uh, it'll probably be much better when I'm done with it. Peasant? There are ghosts wandering the land. I won't leave my house after dark. You look really scary, dude. Are you okay? You look very scary. I'm not sure about that, man. Oh, what's this? Who's this? Dishwasher Wong cook. Who let you back here? Bad enough I must work with incompetence. I don't need you walking through my kitchen. Sorry. Unless, ah, uh, pretty lady, you've come to take me from this existence of pain with your considerable charm. Are you kidding? For reals? For reals? Yeah, me too. Hey, Mr. K? No. Step back, Mr. Wong. You just step back. Uh, no. A polite response from one of you strangers? Go on. Don't waste your respect on me. I'm no high minister. I just cook. I'm leaving now. Good. I need to concentrate on the menu. If you want to eat, you'll leave me alone. I just, you know, wanted to, like, say hi or something. Okay, uh... Peasants. 
So many peasants. I, I, I don't know where I'm going. The beaten baker. We the brave. Talk to Minister Shang. All right. Beware of a second meeting. The Viper. Those are styles. So. Down by the pier. I don't know. I, I'm just sort of running around randomly. Is there a pier here somewhere? Yeah, there's a pier. Is this where this might be? That's a boy. Where's this baker guy? Baker? Dock worker? Okay, you're not who I need. Hey. You're not who I need either. Mm. I mean, I need to talk to these people. I should probably talk to these people, but I don't want to... Who are you? Fisherman. Okay, this is a pier, I think, right? Is a pier the same thing as a dock? Uh, I, I don't even know. Yeah, this is a pier. This is not a dock. There's no boats, it's just a pier. So, where's this baker guy? I don't understand. Okay, well I'm gonna... Uh, oh, who's this? Pretend you're better than us. I don't know. Um, I don't know where the heck this guy is, so Um, but that's okay. Um I think we're about we're about uh, we're about at time right now, so um yeah, next time we'll see if we can find the baker guy and, and go to the tea house and talk to Hui and some other stuff. So yeah next time uh, and if you like what you see please you know like comment subscribe all that kind of stuff and we'll see you next time later